Hey what's up guys Tanmay here back with another video for our channel Simple Snippets. So this is an introductory video to a domain of information technology that is network security. So we are creating an entire playlist for these videos and we'll cover all concepts and aspects of network security that you as an IT student or beginner will need the most. In the first two or three videos things are going to be pretty much theoretical and conceptual but I'll try to make them interesting with some examples so that you don't get bored. If you already are well versed with these theoretical concepts you can always skip these videos and move on to the next video where we will cover some practical aspects and network security protocols and algorithms in this video we'll be covering basic definition of network as in what a network is actually some network security definitions and why the network security is basically needed we'll look into some types of attacks when network security is not properly implemented so before we actually define network security and know its importance, we need to know what exactly a network is. So in simple language, a network is a collection of computers or devices also known as nodes which are connected to each other in certain pattern and they can communicate with each other using some protocol. Now protocols are set of rules that define how this communication is going to happen. We'll discuss protocols in upcoming videos. So as you can see in the image, there are a bunch of computers and devices which are connected to each other over the internet and they can communicate with each other using certain protocols as I mentioned earlier. Now these structures are called topologies and we will discuss about these various topologies in further tutorials. So now that you've understood what a network is, let's take a basic example to make you understand why network security is important. So here there are two people Alice and Bob. We'll be using these references as Alice, Bob and Tom seems to be favorite characters of many, many network security authors. So here's the scenario. Alice and Bob need to talk to each other, but they stay far away. So Alice sends an electronic mail over the internet to Bob. For this example, we'll assume that there is no security over the network or internet. So just as Alice and Bob are having a conversation over the particular network, there's this third fellow Tom who's on the same network as well. Now as the data flow in the network is open to everyone on that network, Tom can monitor or inspect what data is being transferred from Alice to Bob. Since Alice sends the mail as plain text without any encryption or encoding, Tom can see the content of the message directly. Now think if Alice sends her bank account number and password in such a way to Bob and Tom gets that details. I think you know what happens right? Like Tom is definitely gonna get rich. So this was just the most basic and crude example where due to lack of security over the network it caused a possibility of fraud. Now imagine our present lifestyle where pretty much everything happens online over the internet which is sort of a huge network. We send emails, chat online, purchase goods and products on e-commerce websites and make online payments. So in all these activities your sensitive information is passed over the network and here's where network security comes into picture. In fact network security nowadays is probably one of the most important IT domains as nearly our entire work and life is moving online. So now you understand why network security is important. So let's have a look at theoretical definition of network security. Network security is protection of access to files, directories and information in a computer network against hacking, misuse and unauthorized access to change to the system. So now that we've understood the concept and importance of network security, let's take a look at the types of attacks that can occur when network security is not implemented properly. Depending on how the attacks take place, they are categorized into two types. Active attacks and passive attacks. Active attacks are further categorized as interruption, modification and fabrication. And modification is further classified as replay attacks and alteration. Passive attacks are categorized into two types. Release of message content and traffic analysis. Let's take a closer look at these types of attacks. We'll start with active attacks. Active attacks are based on modification of the original message in some manner or the creation of a false message. These attacks cannot be prevented easily. However, they can be detected. Now active attacks are subdivided into three types. Masquerade attack, modification attack and denial of service attacks. So let's see how these type of attacks work. Masquerade is caused when an unauthorized entity pretends to be another entity. To clear this, let's have an example. In this example, Alice and Bob are legal and legitimate users. So in this case, the legal and authorized communication should happen between Alice and Bob. But then here comes Tom and he masquerades or disguises himself as Alice and communicates with Bob on behalf of Alice. Now due to poor lack of authentication, 
Bob doesn't know who he's talking to and feels as if he's talking to Alice. So if by chance Bob releases some confidential information like his account number and password, Tom and not Alice would get access to these credentials and again you know, Tom is definitely gonna get rich illegally. Now the next type of active attack is modification attack. Modification as the name suggests results in some alteration to the original message. Now there are two types of modification attacks. They are replay attacks and alteration. Modification attack usually results in loss of integrity. Now integrity is a principle of network security which we will be looking into in our further tutorials. So let's have a look at how replay attack works. In replay attacks, user captures a sequence of events or some data and resends them. What does he gain through it? Let's have a look. Here you can see there are three entities Alice, Tom and Bank. Now Alice wants to transfer $100 to Tom so she initiates the transaction with the bank. Tom captures this transaction and reinitiates another transaction in her name and this results in him earning $200. Here the bank doesn't know that the second transaction was initiated by Tom and not Alice. So this is an example of replay attack. Let's have a look at another type of modification attack that is alteration. In alteration, it involves some change to the original message. Now let's have a look at how this works. Let's take the same scenario. Now this time Alice wants to transfer $100 to Tom so she initiates a transaction. Now before this transaction goes to the bank, Tom intercepts this transaction and alters the amount to $200. When this transaction reaches the bank, the bank transfers $200 to Tom thinking that Alice wanted to transfer $200 only. So this is an example of alteration attack. Let's have a look at another type of active attack that is denial of service. Now denial of service attack makes an attempt to prevent legitimate users from accessing some services which they are eligible for. For example, Alice here is a legitimate and valid user of her XYZ bank. So she wants to access her account and withdraw some money. Tom on the other hand is not a user of the bank but a hacker who renders the network services down and jams the network creating an obstacle. Thus the bank here is unable to provide service to Alice. So this is an example of denial of service attack. Now that we've seen how active attack works, let's have a look at passive attacks. Passive attacks are those wherein the attackers indulge in monitoring of data transmission. In these type of attacks, the attacker usually does not modify the message but is only interested in what the message is about. These attacks are harder to detect as there is no change made to the original message. Passive attacks are classified into two categories, release of message content and traffic analysis. So let's have a look at how release of message content works. In this type of passive attack, confidential data of users is released publicly over the network. In such cases, confidentiality is lost. So in this example, you can see Alice accesses her bank account services with her credentials. Meanwhile, Tom accesses her credentials and releases this confidential data over the network. Now any other person on the network can also access Alice's account. This is an example of passive attack that is associated with release of message content where Alice's confidential data is released over the internet. Now let's take a look at another type of passive attack that is traffic analysis. In this type of passive attack, the attacker tries to find similarities between encrypted messages and finds the original content. Now this activity is called traffic analysis. Suppose Alice accesses her bank detail often using some security algorithm to encrypt her data. A hacker, in this case Tom, can collect this data and perform analysis on this data to find out the real details. This activity is known as traffic analysis. So here we end the types of attacks. That's it for this video. So let's summarize what we learned. So we understood what a computer network means. We learned the concept of network security and its importance in our digital world. And we saw the types of attacks that can happen over the network when network security is not implemented properly. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll understand the importance of network security principles that needs to be taken into consideration while implementing network security protocols and algorithms. We'll also see the concept of cryptography with a basic example. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your contacts. Do let me know your reviews and suggestions by dropping comments in the comment section below. 
make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you get notified for the further upcoming videos